Well, it's Christmas time, so, uh, you know, you get some stuff, you know, usual stuff, Christmas stuff, like a stocking and whatnot. And, you know, a wallet, you know, based on Wolfenstein 2. <laughs> I'll just take that. And, uh, no, I didn't have that last year. No, the thing I want to show, of course, is the Dangerous Dave Big Box. <laughs> For Eric, signed by John Romero. I, uh, purchased box number t not, uh, 10. You know, that was like 166 euros for boxes 2 to 10. You know, it sold out pretty fast, and I managed to get, you know, boxes 10 pretty quickly. Um, it was costly, especially for a higher number, but, you know, why not? So, the Champions Edition. Now, recently, John Romero, um, you know, Romero Games, you know, basically, like, released a version of this where you just get the game separately. You don't need to get this big box, so you can have that 2021 remaster, but um, let's just talk about them. The entire Dangerous Dave collection is here, from the 1988 original to the 1990 PC Classic to the final installment in 1999 or 1995. All nine of Dave's Avengers are here in this Champions Edition. Here is a treasure lock in this box. Golden Day Trophy and Blue Gems, Dangerous Day Swag Bag, Dangerous Day A3 Poster, Pirate's Treasure Map Hint Guide, Two Stickers, Shotgun Shell USB contains the 2020, was it, was it 2021 or 2020? <laughs> Whatever. A remaster of the original 1990 Dangerous Dave, including the sequels. Yeah, quite a number of games. I wonder how exactly um, if this runs on a DOS box or something, because I'm pretty sure they all run DOS box for all I know, but um, anyways, now to open this. <laughs> uh, give me a moment. I really hate, I hate this. I hate opening shrink wrap. Okay, finally. Oh God, this took me a while. Okay, come on. Yeah. Normally, I would just open this up beforehand before recording, but, you know, I might as well just record this doing that. It's hard to do this with one hand because, you know, because I'm a cheap person who has a phone for, you know, a video recorder. It's the, uh, box. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of feels nice, though. Oh! Oh! Ho -ho. It's on the box itself, not the shrink wrap. I love that. Thank you, John Romero. You're, you're awesome. Wish I can do a death match game with you someday. <laughs> I hate this stuff. <laughs> it's a magnet. Anyways. Okay, now that we got that, let's open the box itself. Let's, let's just okay. come on. Well, I hate that I hope in one in one hand. There we go. What we got here? A little baggie with uh, stuff inside. Let's take a look. Uh, uh, I really hate Eric opening everything in one hand. I assume the games are on the USB stick, is that correct? No, I'll probably check that out later. Okay, I just press the button. Okay. So we got a little laser, ruby, diamond, whatever. Uh, whatever. A tiny one of this. Uh, shotgun shell. This is a USB stick, right? Uh, if I open this thing. And a little golden trophy with uh, another tiny little diamond. Now, the shotgun shell. This is said to be a USB stick, right? Oh, it is. <laughs> you know, I'll probably uh, put this in later and uh, see what's inside. <laughs> I'll take a look at it in a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's what's in the bag. Basically, the USB stick, um, the little diamonds, little different sizes. Um, yeah, much to say. Okay. All right. Yeah, not much to say. It's just one of the bag. <laughs> it's the stuff you expect here, so, you know. Check here. <laughs> redneck. I mean, he is a redneck. Uh, that's the poster, though. Another sticker. Dangerous Dave. But I know Dangerous Dave is on, like, Steam and God, but it's just, like, three games. This is going to be, like, all games. Like, so, you know, I like that better. <laughs> And now, the poster. Okay, now this is a poster I can get behind. <laughs> I wish I could hang, I'm not, probably gonna hang this somewhere, I'm not sure, but you know. Uh, I'll keep it in the box for now. But, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's what's inside. I know, not exactly the most exciting there is, but I'd say the USB stick is gonna be the thing that interests me the most, because I wanna see what's inside of this. Uh, I know it's probably most likely the games in the 2021 remaster, and I know you can buy the games digitally right now on Romero Games, but, uh, you know, who doesn't like a bit of physical media? 
I paid a lot of money just to have a number 10 on the box. <laughs> a sticker that says number 10. I know, I'm crazy, but... Yeah, uh, well. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep this somewhere nice. I'll put it on a nice shelf. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so... Uh, just put the stuff back in the box, I guess. Just for safekeeping. So, we have the uh, folder right here. With the USB drive sticked in. And what we have here is two PDF files, a Mac folder, and a Windows folder. Um, to open the readme file... Oh, we have basically yeah, just instructions how to play these games. Yep, just instructions, you know. So basically, it should come with like the uh, the release that Romero Romero Games <laughs> that had, which is just the games and just this doc. You know, I assume the uh, digital release here is just gonna be the same as this. So you know, and here is the map basically. Oh yeah, Microsoft Edge. I hate you so much. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's just maps just to cover everything on the games. 32 pages of, you know, horizontal landscape uh, images. So, um, yeah. The Mac folder is all Mac stuff, and I don't have a Mac, so I'm using Windows, so we're gonna go to Windows here. And what we right here is basically, um, we do. There we go. So basically, we just have the Apple II and MS DOS programs in this, uh, this, in this USB drive. So basically, we're using DOSBox here. <laughs> Well, the 2021 remaster of the, um, you know, Desert Pirates Hideout is just going to be like, you know, an executable with states, which should be uh, right here. Yeah, we just click on an EXE file this time for the remaster. We don't have to worry about doing um, DOSBox or Apple II, but if you're doing like uh, these games, yeah, you're going to need to use uh, DOSBox here, it seems. <laughs> so, um, yep. I'm gonna need to install DOSBox here later. I mean, kind of already have it installed, but I guess I have to get it working for this. So, um, sadly, I'm not gonna play any games. But yeah, that's kind of it. What's in the USB drive? I mean, the USB itself is probably the most interesting thing since, I mean, it's designed like a shotgun shell. <laughs> Besides that, though, yeah, it's not exactly a you know. I guess you could say the most, I guess, contact jam USB stick we've seen. I mean, no, the central one with the, like the uh, floppy disk, you know, USB kind of, um, design. That was definitely a lot more going for it, but, um, you know, this is fine for what I got. I mean, I'm happy to be uh, box owner number 10 for this one, so what can I say? <laughs> um, yeah, it's all I have to say, really. It's not uh, exactly, I guess you could say, the most exciting game contents there is. But, you know, you can purchase these games for like 7 euros on Romero Games. And I guess if you want to look at the remaster, well, I'm, no, I'm going to look at the remaster myself. But, um, yeah, that's it for the, um, the box itself. Uh, <laughs> have a nice day there, and do not spend too much money for a game box just because of a higher number, because uh, you'll regret it, or maybe not. <laughs> have a good day there.